Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com about today's video or any other video that I have posted in the past. Uh, I will be answering you more fully through email. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about this YouTube channel, I would love to hear from you. Thank you. Now, over the years, I have developed a technique to clean my walk using a very large brush, and this brush is frequently known as a walk brush, although this brush is actually used for uh, many different types of uh, cleaning, particularly people use it to clean the deck, so therefore sometimes it also called as a deck brush. Uh, you also find people use this brush to clean their tires. Uh, this brush actually is really efficient for cleaning a wall because it is quite large, so it has an excellent coverage of the surface of the wall. Uh, the brush is made out of uh, fibers that come from a natural source. In fact, it comes from palm, and for this reason, uh, this wall brush is also known as a Pimara brush. Because of its large surface area, this brush is extremely effective. Usually, I can get a walk in a matter of seconds. Uh, the brush of, you can get from Amazon is really inexpensive. It costs only about five to six dollars. Uh, this brush also comes in another type of handle, which you make out of plastic instead of wood, uh, make it more easy to dry. However, this turned out to be not the traditional brush for cleaning a walk. The traditional walk cleaning device is something known as a walk whisk. It is very interesting from the standpoint of its construction because it's not made out of fiber. Uh, instead of it made out of strips of bamboos. Uh, basically, uh, the strip of bamboos are tied together, as shown here. Uh, the strips are actually quite thick. In fact, they are very different uh, from the bristles that you find in a Pimara brush. And for this reason, quite often I find it difficult to imagine how it actually works as a cleaning device for the walk. However, uh, this type of uh, bamboo whisk is the most popular type of uh, walk cleaning brush that uh, for many, many years, in fact, in most Chinese restaurants, you will find that the chef using this kind of uh, brush for cleaning their walk. Uh, this walk cleaning whisk definitely represents a old time device because the entire piece of equipment completely made out of natural material. In addition to the bamboo, uh, the top of the whisk is a piece of wood, and then there are some sort of a bamboo fabric that is used to tie the, all the bamboo strips together to form this whisk. So about seven months ago, I decided that I want to give it a try as I saw it uh, on sale in a Chinese uh, grocery store. The first thing I do is that uh, I'm going to clean up this wok, which actually uh, is not too bad. There's some fabric, particular materials on the surface of the wok, and I'm going to just use the faucet to rinse everything off. And my goal is to rinse off as many as foot uh, particles that are left on the surface of wall as I can, because this will prevent things to stick uh, to the whisk. When I first used the whisk, I immediately recognized that you cannot use it like a brush, uh, because the whisk is too tough, and also the way how they spread out. In fact, you use it actually like a scraper to scrape things off. Uh, each of the bamboo strips are stiff enough that they actually work like a tiny scraper. In this case, you might call it multiple scrapers are all tied together. The bamboo is flexible enough to make it easy uh, to fit over the contour of the walk, but it's stiff enough that you can use it readily uh, for scrape things off. So in many ways, it works like a brush, but not exactly like a brush, if you know what I mean. After I use it for about a few seconds, I quickly realized that it is actually quite effective for cleaning anything that might stuck to the surface of the wall. It turned out to be a very effective cleaning device for cleaning the wall. Uh, in fact, uh, because of the nature of the bamboo strip, it's tough enough, but it is also flexible enough uh, that I can go around the wall and fit to the contour surface of the wall without any problem. 
As you can see, it is very effective and its nice size makes it cleaning the walk very swift as well as convenient. And in about uh, 30 to 40 seconds, I have the walk pretty much well clean. The only thing that's left is that there are some stains that still remain on the surface of the wall. So I use a uh, 3M Scotch Bright scrub sponge and that easily remove all the remaining stain on the surface of the wall. As you can see, the total time in cleaning this walk is only about one and a half minutes. In comparison of this uh, cleaning whisk with the Primara brush, I, I don't think either one seems to work any better than the others. They work slightly differently. The Primara brush works actually like a brush, but this one is work kind of like a brush, but it also works like a scraper, except it uses a very thin strips. I noticed that one thing about this bamboo whisk is that the way how it is designed, the strip, the length, and everything fits really well of the contour of the walk and make it very easy to slide through the surface. I have used my walk brush actually for many years and I really like the walk brush because it is large and the bristle just about the right texture for cleaning any debris on the surface of the wall. However, there's one thing I do not like about the wall brush is that it tends to attract fluids and it also have uh, sometimes have particles to get caught between the bristles that just make it very difficult to remove. And also the fluids that settle into the between the bristles sometimes is very difficult to dry out. However, uh, this whisk is very different. As you can see, the whisk has a lot of space between the, each of the uh, walk bamboo strips. And the consequence is that the fluid uh, can be easily shaped out from it. And furthermore, a bamboo do not attract fluids readily as much as the bristles. So consequently, it is much easier to dry the whisk as compared to the walk brush. And I don't like about the walk brush is that if the fluid are not totally shake out, uh, it will start to uh, sometimes uh, start to allow microorganism to grow between the bristles. After I using them, I usually hang them right on the door uh, under my kitchen sink, and this allow them to dry more readily. As you can see here, I put an extra hook. Uh, onto that wood pieces that will allow me to hang it more easily. I now use the walk cleaning whisk almost exclusively because I like the fact that it's dry much faster as compared to the walk brush. Furthermore, I really attracted to the handcraft nature of this whisk with everything all made from natural ingredients. Again, I was very surprised how efficient and how well it worked. Uh, you can find this whisk and, on Amazon, and the cost is really inexpensive. And based on the nature of this material that I constructed this whisk, uh, it will last probably forever. I have been using this walk whisk for about uh, three months, and I'm totally happy with it. I will give it a strongest recommendation. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system, which will help you to make home cooking to practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you're interested to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.